Modern technology and innovations allow today's farmers and ranchers to grow a lot more food than even a generation ago while taking great care of their animals and the land on which they rely. Tyson Roberts is a sixth generation vegetable farmer in Davis County. My great 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 grandfather Levi Roberts homesteaded in the, on the banks of the Kays Creek, what was then Kaysville, now Layton, in 1850. Obviously, farming in Utah is a lot different today than it was 160 years ago, but the farm here has seen dramatic changes in just the past 20 years. When I was growing up, we were farming uh, well over 200 acres. Now the Roberts farm about 60 acres, yet they are more productive than they have ever been. Roberts says there have been a lot of innovations over the years that helped them be more productive. You know, it's not even July yet. We've, we've just picked the first tomatoes, first ripe tomatoes off of these. And, you know, that's something we wouldn't expect until August in my father's time when he was my age. And, you know, a lot of that is because of the cold frame, the, the high tunnel that you mentioned. But also it's uh, some of that we give thanks to, to varieties that have improved. So, you know, seeds, uh, science that has improved, uh, how a tomato grows quicker, how it will uh, set fruit faster, and a, a lot more fruit. They grow an early season variety of corn that wasn't available a generation ago, and they are able to grow southern climate crops like sweet potatoes when they couldn't before. So with innovations like the plastic mulch, which heats up the soil, and the cold frames that I spoke about, we get the sweet potatoes started in there and plant them a little later. So we can uh, kind of mimic the climate in Georgia so that uh, the sweet potatoes thrive in Utah in a colder climate. They also use farm machinery now that wasn't available a generation ago. Yeah, we have uh, one piece of equipment. We come on bare ground and on the back of a tractor, we, we shape the bed so it brings all the soil up here so we've got a good soft raised bed, good for the sweet potatoes or the tomato roots, whatever plant we plant in there, good soft soil for the roots to, to thrive in. And it also lays down the plastic, covers it with soil so that the wind keeps, the wind doesn't take it away and it also lays the drip tube at the same time. So, uh, you know, equipment like that, uh, wasn't around when my father was farming at my age. There's a lot of uh, mechanical innovations as well as scientific innovations that have helped us to produce more crops or more, more yield. They also use innovations like the corn earworm trap. It's a net that attracts and traps moths that lay the earworm egg. That way they only have to spray when it's absolutely necessary. They save money and it's better for the environment. Finally, Roberts benefits from one innovation that a lot of people use. Um, a lot of people don't know about farming, so I use social media um, to share my farm story, basically. And also, it's, it's turned into a good marketing tool. So I, I have a lot of friends on Facebook that I just keep up to date on when a certain crop is available, when the sweet corn comes on, when the tomatoes come on. People, there's, there's lots of customers out there and if they know that I've got tomatoes, they'll come to the farm. It's innovations like these that help today's agriculture meet the food security needs of an ever-expanding population.